Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for tamale pie. Tamale pie is a regional favorite in the southwestern United States and is made with ground meat and cornbread or masa crust. So let me show you what you're going to need. For the beef portion of the casserole, you're going to need some rotel, salsa verde, cheese, corn. Now I'm using frozen, but you can use canned if you'd like. And I'm using lean ground beef. You can use ground turkey or whatever you prefer. For the cornbread portion, you're going to need your favorite box of corn muffin mix. Now I am using Jiffy. You're going to need the ingredients to prepare that corn muffin mix, which is an egg and milk. And you're also going to add some green chilies and cheddar to it as well. So let's get started. So we started off by browning our ground beef. And to that, I am adding my salsa verde my can of Rotel, and it is drained, my corn, and I'm just gonna give this a good stir and let everything get all combined. Now you're gonna wanna season to taste. I am using some seasoned salt um, by Lowry's, and some garlic powder, and some onion powder. Now I'm just gonna turn off the burner and then sprinkle in my cheese. And I'm just gonna set this aside while I work on the cornbread per portion of the casserole. So I've got my egg in the bowl. Now I'm just adding in my Jiffy cornbread mix and my milk and my chopped green chilies. And just give it a good stir. Now I'm just gonna add in that cheese. All right, so I have a one and a half quart casserole dish here. And all I'm doing is putting that meat mixture right inside of there. I did end up adding some more cheese to it. I do like a lot of cheese. I was trying to be good, but you just can't uh, sometimes, so. And next, you're just gonna spread that cornbread mixture right on top. So now this is ready to go into the oven for about 45 minutes or until that topping is golden brown. Okay, so here is the tamale pie. I let it bake for 45 minutes and then I let it cool a bit. And here is the slice on the plate. It is very good. That cornbread is cooked all the way through, nice and cheesy. And I really hope you all enjoyed this recipe and decide to give it a try. If you haven't joined our YouTube family, we'd love to have you. If you enjoyed this video, we would definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And I will make sure to have the complete recipe in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.